Kia ora tātou, ko Hana tēnei. Hey everyone, this is Hana. And today we're going to talk about the blog, or my blog. <laughs> my main blog is Hina. Hina is a personification of the moon, and I write about a different topic every moon cycle. So, to align to the moon, Hina. Um, yeah, it seemed like a cool name. <laughs> Hina is a blog modelled after my own life experiences so it's quite intimate it's a way for me to make sense of the thoughts that I have and articulate them and it's a way that I can better understand myself and my relationship and connection to everything else so it's really cool I really enjoy it it's developed a lot over time when I first started it I just knew that I had a lot to say I knew that I had value for other people I didn't know in what way but I just knew that it was of value and so I just wrote about whatever then over time as I got a bit more experience with it I started to refine my style and then I experimented with a few themes a few different directions and um, yeah, there are some that just didn't fit at all, but I wouldn't have known if I didn't do it. Story of my life, actually. <laughs> and so this blog in particular is a mirror of my life. It's about becoming self-aware and understanding myself, understanding others, understanding the world through whakapapa. He Māori ahai, I'm Māori. I also have other bloodlines run through me, but my worldview has largely been shaped by Te Ao Māori. Te Ao Māori, my first language, uh, total immersion, Māori uh, schooling. It's been the major influence in my life and who I am today, which I love and which I try to showcase with this blog in particular. With everything I do, but especially I push it through and I um, pack as much of that divine knowledge as I can into these words so that I can share it with as many people as I can. And that's one major point of difference between my blog and other lifestyle bloggers who write about their life. It just offers a different perspective to a lot of mainstream ideas. By no means is it the blog, but um, like there's some cool ideas in there. <laughs> Another aspect of the blog is providing this awesome divine knowledge uh, from my tupuna, from my ancestors. It's giving it a platform where it's easily digestible because um, yeah, most, most of the texts written about Māori whakaaro, Māori philosophy or Māori knowledge they're all quite academic and being academic makes them quite hard to read, quite difficult to read um, difficult to interpret the different metaphors I myself would struggle to read the text sometimes because the concepts that we use were just too just way above what I could comprehend. I know some things and those are the things that I write about but there's still a lot that I don't know that I need to learn. But because I believe so much in this knowledge I felt drawn to writing about these philosophies, these principles in a way that was easy for other people to understand as well. And using real life examples is the perfect way to do that. But in wanting to have real life examples I knew that I couldn't write about anyone else. I'm the topic, I'm the subject that I know best it was a no-brainer. I had to meditate on the whole idea for a while, but eventually I decided that it needed to be done. But with that, um, yeah, some quite intimate and personal details are out there in the public now. Before the blog, or even now still, I'm quite a private person and I don't like to share, yeah, I don't like to share too much of that intimate stuff of what goes on because um, I just don't like it. <laughs> I didn't want anyone to see me or to see the failure to be exposed. I didn't like being vulnerable and I needed to kind of tear myself open. I had to make myself vulnerable so that other people could see how amazing uh, kaupapa Māori, mātauranga Māori can be um, and how easy they can apply it to their own lives. That's my main goal, that's my main intention with my blogs, with my videos, with um, my photography is that people relate to it and they see how they can apply the same metaphors, the same principles to their own lives and in effect uphold tikanga Māori, kaupapa Māori, whakaaro Māori. It's about empowering myself, empowering others, but using traditional philosophies is um, is the key. Mm. It's a natural